Yo! Video games. I, just, I call him Antifax. He's tactic cool. Well, at least it's right there. Yeah. Oh shit, someone fixed the door. Is Simmons going for oh, a... Yeah. I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out, Wesker. Oh, what a great guy. <sighs> Bullets. What Wait, a great... Oh, we didn't fix the door. What a great guy. Barry fixes the fucking door. What a great guy. Barry's a bro. He's a great guy. I'm trying to think, bullets, so... Bullets, he gives them bullets, bullets. Even, okay, because this, this whole thing with Wesker is that he's trying to test them. This is a test to see yeah. if the zombies were... Fucking spoilers! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bullets. Like, it was a test to see... If the zombies would kill him, or if the team would survive, what was it? It was just a test of the zombies' combat abilities, like oh. how how they live in the mansion and what they do, and they threw humans into the mix to see what would go on. Yeah, like how their ecosystem works with humans jumbled in. Would to it? eventually use the data to make the tyrant the ultimate asshole. Okay, tyrant still best last boss in Resident Evil history, in my opinion. Tyrant better than Mr. X and better than Nemesis, but Mr. X has got a leg up in terms of. I'd say, like, splash power. But, Bro, knocking down walls and shit was pretty fucking Mr. amazing. Mr. X, that shit just... That shit was scary. That shit literally, like, that was one of the times I literally yelled. <laughs> like, I went, like, yeah. I Mr. Mr. X was way, way, way scarier, scarier than fucking Nemesis. Walls. Yeah. He's scarier than Nemesis. It's funny because you're like, oh, okay, I, you know, I'm doing this playthrough again. It's just a little different. All right, cool. I'm going to go in this room and fuck! Like, he just burst through the wall like the fucking Kool-Aid man and you nearly well, what was the sound <laughs> Gap! Gap! Yeah. That is yeah. sound like I Shit. wanted I yelled but didn't try try to stop myself from yelling so it just came at that Gap! just like that yeah like I, it, oh, instead of just going ah! Top Hat Walrus it was a yell sounds like a meme to me yeah, thank I you very much that. dude and I tried to stop it I just I'm not, every, every person that's subscribing now I'm making sure I'm not saying like Mike Hunt in HD <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can do this. Yeah, and then, like I remember, like I'm playing, I'm like, what the fuck did they just drop? Like, the, the part where Mr. X actually knocks down a CG wall, <laughs> like that's the part. <laughs> that I, like these walls are 2D. That's why he was yeah. scarier than Nemesis. Every time you you fucking come into Nemesis, yeah. the game pauses and says stars. And he like oh, shows he up. Have a lot of like dramatic impact. Yeah, yeah you dude. just gotta run away from him. Mr. X fucking plowed through a door that you were fucking, you know, like, what game was not a door, fucking Resident wall. Evil 3. 3? Okay. Uh, but, but Mr. Oh, X is from, two. Uh, Mr. X is, so, we might, the reason you might not have seen Mr. X in Resident Evil 2 is because there's four different scenarios. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to change. You have to play the game through a couple, you have to play through Leon, you have to play through Claire, and then it's Leon B or Claire B yep. that have Mr. X. Yeah. And that's like the proper story ones. Mm -hmm. This is new to this version too, this room. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I, need to, I, need, I need I need more inventory. Room. This this room is actually new to remake. And then eventually Mr. X transforms into a giant uh, giant train sucking vagina monster hmm. at the end of the game. Yeah, but the one the, one of the coolest things about that was the fucking music at the end of the game. When you beat the game, yeah. it had this hype music that just made you feel like a badass when you beat it. I love the end of that game because it's got yeah. the, uh, you have What does this fucking minutes. give you when you do all this globby like, shit in this It was this killer, like, 1999 rock track. Something important. That Something made you feel uh, like it, it wasn't anything like... It, I, I definitely remember the rooms where I was like, I didn't need to do that. What was... Did you have to, did you have to do that one? Yeah, I did that one. It wasn't important. Munch Makuchi! Munch Makuchi, wow. And Suk Madik. <laughs> Suk Madik. <laughs> Fuka me, Fuka you. That was one of the funniest episodes of, uh... The Simpsons. No, not The Simpsons. It was on, um... A show that just went off the air. Colbert Report. Ah. Uh, oh, wow. The Colbert Report is off the air? Yeah. <gasps> Last episode Over. was, like, a couple weeks ago. Get the fuck out. It, I mean, it, he's, he's, he's replacing, um, <laughs> Letterman. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, oh, so you're, he's not going anywhere. Yeah, I was gonna say. But uh, the Colbert okay. character is gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, he was always, he didn't stay in, like, character with, like, Bill O'Reilly and stuff like that. It was pretty funny. Isn't so Daily funny. Show over, too? No, no, Daily Show's no. still going. It's still going. I love those shows, man. No. I, don't, I don't have TV anymore, but I thoroughly watched them. Yeah. Sadly, got most of my news from that shit in Reddit. Yeah. That's a terrible way to get news. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know which one is real. Yeah, well, fake. you know what? I'd rather get my news from there than Fox News. Yeah. yeah. I guess, but that's... 
That's like okay. I'd rather get my news from you know the Onion than yeah. than, than the Midnight the Star. The Onion has some very thought-provoking <laughs> stories. Yeah. The one where uh, I, there was a great one on the Onion recently about um, women. No, not women, but people in general trying to trying to control the the overpopulation of the Earth by not vaccinating their children. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. <laughs> so I'm not too sure what you're gonna get here. But you're gonna have to take care of the greatest, the greatest enemy in Resident Evil history. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah. You're ready. The slammer. The slammer. Yeah. The Pentagon slammer. Oh. The oh. bee. Oh shit. The fucking bee. <laughs> Piece of shit. That thing is fucking alive. Wow. Shoot the bee. Knife it. No, no shoot no, it. You gotta shoot it. <laughs> like a man. Bruh. <laughs> like a man. Why there's two? There's only one! Let's stomp on it. Stomp him in the nuts. Stomp him in the nuts. When crest. The bee! Fujin. My eyes! That was important for something. Mr. X was in Leon B. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was definitely one of the B scenarios. Um, I think it did Leon A, Claire B. Something like that. Maybe I can't remember the exact. Maybe I did Claire A, Leon B. That's what I did. The, well, they had like alternate costumes. Resident Evil Two gets really interesting when you play through the game once and then you play the second part. Yeah. Like then it gets really good. Oh yeah, that's for sure. What the fuck did I use the wind crest for? Yeah, so we got the wind crest. So what should we do? Oh, that's used. Like, isn't that used before you go down to like the uh, the facility? Oh. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's like there's like three crests and that's one of them. So go down to the shark facility. Oh, Neptune, yeah. Yeah, that's that's oh, just for the, that's just for the map. I think you need you need wood. No. Or not. Fuck it with Chris. No you do. Chris it's in it's area. in that wood thing. You stick the wood thing in there. And then you get the map for a second floor. Put this I think we go to the graveyard now, yeah. Yeah. Graveyard time? No, because I need all four masks. I only have one. Yep, scenario A, B is where You're it's right. at. I confirm. I've beaten that game. Resident I, Evil 2 is, yeah. is okay. very good. I beat both. Yes. Yeah, Resident Evil 2 is my favorite Resident Evil of the, the classic tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one is very fucking good, though. This oh, might yeah. be one of my favorite. This might take my place for my favorite with analog controls. Yeah. Cause I was like the only thing that made RE2 like my favorite classic one was the but, N64. But you know what though? There's something that's magical about that and what made the game more scary. I barely can't fucking control this guy. Uh, yeah, like, that's you true. know what I'm saying? Like if you had really was, good yeah, control. Yeah, I mean that's the classic argument. I find it kind of bullshit because it's like, oh, this guy is a special ops agent. Yeah, you know, I he's mean, done all this shit and he runs like this away from a fight. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like, this is how he handles a slow moving yeah. person. It doesn't. Or don't you feel yeah. like a badass? It's not what makes it good, but it just kind of makes it like a little scary. It is an element that does add to the tension yeah, sometimes. Like, but I, man. but man, I'll just say I, I like I like the reason I like high frame rates in video games is because it gives you more control over your character and everything you're doing. And as soon as you introduce an option to give you more control over your character, I'm not going back, dude. <laughs> like I just want to make it. Uh, I'll, I'll bump. Then I know what I did when I started the Jill playthrough. Five Suk bucks. Madik. Suk Madik. Suk Madik. Suk Madik. <laughs> <laughs> I said. I think I said that one. Thank you very much, dude. It's Munch Makuchi and Suk Madik. Suk Madik. Um, what I did to kind of counterbalance it on the Jill playthrough is that I played it on the hardest difficulty at the start of Jills, and but I'm using analog controls. So. Yeah, we played Resident Evil 2, guys, on the N64 version um, on your know, video games already. So if you want to watch that, that is currently on the channel from literally two years ago. You know what? Let me just take this. I actually need this. Well, well you could put it, I think you could put it in and get rid of it. Go back and examine the jewelry box. Yeah, you see, that's bugging me, because, like, I don't think you had to take it anywhere. It's like, I think there was a puzzle just within the jewelry box itself to... That's what I remember. Like, you just... There's something you fiddle around on it. You're correct, Tiger Zord. Resident Evil 2 was on Dreamcast and GameCube, and those games are very rare now. They are hard to find. 
N64 had no like um, VMU sequences. It was just all pictures. No, it had FMV. It did have FMV. It was FMV. really, really, really shitty. Yeah. It was really bad. Huh. It was compressed. VR. It actually wasn't that compressed. It was three. I... It was compressed by three frames. I I watched it again. Um, like I just I watched the ending on our channel, and it looks rough. Yeah. Well, it looks easy. Was easy. It looks rough in general, no matter what you play it on. Now, yeah. if you look at an old PSX. FMV, but no, oh. there's a there's a fantastic article I think on either Gamma Sutra or Games Radar. What they did to make RE2 possible. Yeah, and, and they support. talked about it. Nine people did it. It was in one contractor. Ten people made that and within the, within the course of a year, and they actually wanted to do FF7, but Square was like, you can't do FF7, um, but they totally could have actually. But it was interesting because they were talking about how they had to like squeeze so much like into memory, and they they had this really like boss ass programmer and and yeah one yeah. the compression technique basically there. was to they drop 3 frames out of the cg sequences out of the cg sequences per second i was like it's kind of clever you press and shit yeah you just fiddle with it okay that's what i did and i make it out eventually that's the uh, no eyes nose or mouth no ultra roses i never played a tomba game i have i played the demo uh, actually, no, you're right. I played the demo too because everyone had that fucking demo back in the day. They're it fun. was Tomba and Parappa the Rapper on that demo. Fucking yep. a, Jesus, I remember that. Um, so anyway, that's two of the three. Two of the four. Doug Redfield eighty seven was saying, uh, "Glad to catch you guys on stream again. Super hyped for Biohazard and love what you guys are playing." Shout out to Steve, Kenny, and Simmons, and of Woo! course Max. I love you guys. Nice. Thank you so much, Doug. Yeah, Captain yeah, Redfield. Buddy. Hashtag save the dick from Depictionator. <laughs> that happened. Fuck Resident Evil 6, thank you, dude. The Legend of Backrubs put in five bucks as well. I'll tell you about Backrubs. Oh, yeah, that okay. shit is hilarious. You missed that. That's a Broken fun. Arms Gordon says, I've really been enjoying the Resident Evil streams. Any learnings on replaying some of the older ones, like two or three? Uh, like I was saying a little while ago, Broken Arms Gordon. We did play two... We actually played all the Resident Evils leading up until Revelations. So every single one of those playthroughs is on the Yo! Video Games channel. If you go to Yo! Video Games on YouTube, there should be playlists for... Remake, um, the old GameCube one, Resident Evil 2 on N64, Resident Evil 3 on Dreamcast, Resident Evil 4 in multiple varieties, um, and Resident Evil 5 with myself, Simmons, and Mike, which yeah. was pretty amazing. That was a fun Six one. Six is on there too, right? Six was one of the first ones we ever did. Yeah, yeah so Six is definitely up there. So we have and like half of Revelations. Ooh. Yeah, and about half of Revelations. We didn't end up finishing it for, for reasons. For reasons. Oh! Yawn is back there. Yeah, I know. Who's Pakistan? Uh, uh, bleed? Well, yeah, good shit. You got him. Light him up fire. Ah, fuck. You get bombed for that. If I made that joke, it's So, uh, Geisten like, subscribed and put in 15 bucks to say, I'm a member of STARS. Let's hope that Nemesis doesn't find you. Thank you so much, Geisten. It's very nice of you, dude. Let's go play, let's go play Marvel 2. Play Jill all night. All day. Yeah, all night. We should have Jill on Jill battles. Jill is fun, man. In that Jill game. is an amazing. She was a fun character. Like early on, like people thought she was like really high tier because she could do a nice. OTG relaunch. Yeah, OTG you know what really relaunch. pisses me off is that the Jill is represented in Marvel Three. Um, she's changed quite a bit, but there's another character that plays like Jill does in Marvel Two that is in Marvel Three. Wow. You know what the character's name is? Mm. Frank West. Yes. Just about to say it. I was just about to say it. I was like, wait, and it, wait, wait, wait. And for, I remember Seth Seth Killian was like, for some reason they put Frank West in this game. For some reason Capcom Japan thinks that Capcom America is like super super gung ho. Dead. Look! Look oh my dick. Look oh look at my dick. Look at my dick. Thank you very much, dude. Oh my dick. So like for some reason Capcom Japan when they were making Marvel 3 is like they think that Americans just love Frank West to death. So they decided to put him in instead of someone like Leon. Well, this is why they made Resident Evil 6, because they wanted to go all do Brody on it. Yeah. They fucking, they made so that So, Frank West plays a lot like Jill does, like throwing zombies and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. He's got an interesting mechanic, but <coughs> I do miss Jill, dude. You know what's one of the greatest, most satisfying things with Jill? Is uh, landing a counter. Oh, and then the shoot counter, the and then she pushes she you back and shoots you six times. And to you the have fucking to tap gun. it. You have to tap each tap time each shot. It. Yeah. So it's, it's not very good, but it's very very fun. Yeah. Mm. It, it, connecting the the nemesis is the greatest thing about her, dude. Yeah. Finding yeah. ways, that, just clever we, ways. We had that guy that was playing on Gambit Assist and was able oh, to come away yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Tyrant. It's Tyrant. Not Tyrant. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. Oh my God. 
C Blizzard 44, welcome, dude. I appreciate it, man. He's hard. <laughs> Enjoy your Benny face, sir. Beamon Deeds put in five to say, love what you're doing, Max, and everyone at Yo Video Games, and looking forward to seeing Metal Gear 3 and Phantom Pain in the future. Thanks for the laughs and hypes, dudes. We've been playing Metal Gear 3 quite a bit, Beamon Deeds. Uh, if you want to check out our past broadcasts, it'll also be up on Yo Video Games eventually. Um, but we are currently playing through Metal Gear Solid 3. So Phantom, thank you, dude. The Phantom Pain? Phantom Pain's the new Metal Gear. Mm. And it's Metal Gear 5. It's not out yet.